Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past. Coming back with a what sold on eBay video. I think I have 21 items that sold uh, towards the middle, towards the end of April. Um, lots of a good variety of stuff. Uh, let's jump right in. First, we have this Bose SoundTouch wireless adapter for certain systems. They, you know, they have proprietary systems with Bose. And this sold for $61.57 plus 10.15 shipping. And this was new in an open box. I cannot for the life of me remember what I paid for this. But uh, anyway, it was a good sell at $61 and change plus shipping. Next we have this vintage Ralph Lauren polo jeans flag sweatshirt. I don't know exactly the era. Seems like this is from the 90s, maybe from the early 2000s. Uh, I don't know exactly. But yeah, I had the, you know, everything now is tagless and this has the a real tag on it made in Indonesia. So yeah, I picked this up for under $5 and it sold for $45 plus 10, 15 shipping. And this sold within a couple months. And next we have the, this is interesting. Look at that horrible, horrible picture. So, you know, I had this for a while, but, uh, this is an interesting story. I bought, I bought this at a, at an auction. There are tons of online auctions where I live, uh, in Northern Virginia. I've, I've just found through experience that 99% of the time, they're not worth my time because people are paying way too much for stuff. You know, and if you're buying stuff for yourself, you know, that's fine. You know, you pay more, but I'm reselling, I'm flipping. And in a lot of these local auctions, there's not a margin there. But the thing with this bag here is it was in horrible condition. You're like, what? It looks kind of good. Well, yeah, it does now. I got this for, I want to say like $25 and it was in bad condition. It is a Tumi, really good brand, not a Tumi outlet, a real, you know, retail store level Tumi bag. And it was beat to death. But what I did is I sent it off to Tumi and had them refurbish it. And they charged me 60 bucks to refurbish it, including everything, shipping and everything. So all in, I'm on this bag at $80 and I sold it for double my money, $165 plus $15.90 shipping. Took a long time to sell, but the person that bought this was just stoked. They were so happy. And, you know, I listed in the listing that it had been, you know, professionally refurbished by Toomey and uh, included all the paperwork that they sent along with it. And, uh, yeah, there's the, the receipt, the delivery notice right there, certify, you know. And if you send something off the... You know, a lot of times with these kind of bags, you got to be careful with uh, counterfeits and stuff. But this one obviously wasn't because of its quality and its markings. But, you know, I sent it off to Toomey. They refurbished it. It's real. So, yeah, it was a really interesting good sale. Like I said, it took a long time. And, you know, only doubling my money is not that great. But still, after fees and everything, you know, made 60 bucks or so. So it's not too too terrible. Next, we have this really cool Syracuse Orangeman Nike basketball warm-up. This was interesting, and I couldn't find anything else like it. Uh, no comps, no comparables, nothing exactly like this little jacket. So, I just had to guess. You know, I, I sold it for $45 plus 10, 15 shipping, and it sold really quick. So I may have could have gotten more, but I had nothing to go off of except for just instinct. What was really interesting, it had a number on the tag like this may have been team issued. I have no idea. You know, no way to prove it, no way to know. But it was really cool, in decent condition. It was obviously worn, but you know, nothing major, no rips, tears, holes, stains, or anything. But just a really neat, and this sold really quickly. And I now had less, five dollars or less into this. So yeah, really neat little jacket. Good sale. Next we have this Buzz Lightyear Toy Story action figure. This was sealed in the package. The package was a bit shelf worn. If you don't know what shelf worn means, it just means the package is just kind of beat up. The cardboard is, you know, you can see right there, the cardboard is just bent and beaten a little bit. 
but it was brand new and this sold really quickly I picked this up for only a couple dollars and it sold for eighteen dollars eighty four cents plus eight seventy five shipping so about twenty over twenty seven dollars all in on something I spent a couple dollars on really good sell and next we have well, this Under Armour um, all season pullover hoodie and this was kind of a thin thermal waffle style fabric and it was brand new with the tags you look at the MSRP of $49.99 see the pattern there and if you watch my haul videos you know that I love brand new with the tag stuff I just can't get enough of it and luckily in my area I find stuff fairly regularly you know you obviously you can see with the background this this very poor picture I had it for a little while but uh, it sold. I uh, gave five or s five or s five dollars or seven dollars and fifty cents for this, somewhere in that range. And it sold for thirty dollars plus ten fifteen shipping. So you're looking at on a retail price of forty nine ninety nine. It sold for forty dollars and fifteen cents out the door. So it was a really good sale. Three XL, big big size. So it was a great great sale. Next we have this seen it. Look how bad that picture is. I didn't even rotate it, and you can see the light up there. Just awful but I've gotten better but uh, this I had this forever you know you can tell by the picture I had this forever and I marked it down marked it down marked it down and I only had a like two dollars into it finally sold it got an offer of seven dollars and sixty nine cents plus ten fifteen shipping so all in at about eighteen dollars almost eighteen dollars and took it just wanted to get move it had it for so long and it was sealed brand new you know nothing really nothing had this little bend in the box but it was still sealed in this factory wrap. I got this when I was visiting family in Arkansas. Got it at a local little charity shop for just, for like I said, for like $2. But it took forever to sell. So, you know, if I find one again, I probably won't buy it unless it's a dollar or less. So, yeah. Next we have this Hunger Games Trilogy. The audiobooks, CDs. These sold really quickly. I got these for uh, almost three to five dollars. They were only like a dollar fifty or two dollars a piece at a uh, charity shop here locally. This wasn't from one of my thrift stores. This was a real like uh, uh, charity shop. But yeah, sold really quickly, and they were all in really good condition. Opened everything up. All the discs accounted for. Boxes in good shape. Yeah, from five to six dollars and they sold very fast for twenty four ninety nine plus eleven fifteen and they paid for expedited shipping it could have shipped these media mail but they obviously wanted them I had both options available both media mail or uh, priority mail and they took the priority mail so yeah it, it just goes to show you know customer service you give them what they want you go give people options you know what limited options we have on shipping but give them options Next we have the, oh this is a really cool puzzle, I had this for a long time, but I thought it was just really neat, this dragon 1500 piece puzzle, and I got this for just like $1.50 or $2, I'm, I am certain, I got this at Savers, like I said, quite a while ago, and had it for a while, but it sold for $25 plus $11.15 shipping, so thirty six fifteen all in on something to pay $2 for, it was a really good sale, even having held on to it for a long time. Had a little break there, but it was sealed. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, well, this one's really awesome. I got this at a local thrift store, half off, and I got this for less than five dollars. Little flash flood super soaker, brand new. I listed this and it sold so quickly for a hundred and forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents plus shipping. And on top of all that, this went overseas. It was, uh, I'm, I used the uh, global shipping program and someone from over in Europe somewhere bought this. So on top of that $162.49 on my side they had to pay the shipping from Kentucky where eBay's global uh, shipping program distribution center is to wherever they live. So that, an extra 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks, who knows, to get this to them. So somebody paid big money for this. So keep an eye out for those. Really good sale. Real quick too. And next we have this Anchorage Expedition 
uh, plaid Sherpa fleece, little full zip jacket. This sold fairly quickly. I got this for two or three dollars, and this sold for fifteen dollars plus eight seventy-five shipping. Yeah, pretty cool. Size large. Next we have this Buddy L Coca-Cola trailer. No truck, just the trailer with the uh, the cases and the vending machine in the trailer, and it opens up. Had say had some condition issues, which I noted. And the whole trailer thing opens up, and you can pull out the cases and the machine. So yeah, made in Japan. And I got this for two or three dollars, and it sold for ten dollars plus ten fifteen sh shipping, so twenty dollars and fifteen cents all in. For s I only gave like two dollars for that, so pretty good sell. Next we have this Philadelphia Bicentennial tie. It's from 1976. And see it has the Liberty Bell on it with the uh, 76 logo had this for a while um, only paid a dollar for this this was still like new um, I listed it as pre-owned but it was in really good shape tags were really crisp the color was really good and it sold for $14.99 plus 375 shipping Fairly quickly after I listed it. I only had this for a couple weeks uh, listed before it sold. Next we have this uh, Dymo Vintage, the manual label maker. This is that old school one that had those hard plastic strips. And this was brand new. This had never been used in its case with the packing material and, the, and new wheels. So see, I see this right here. You remember those? Pretty cool. I gave a dollar for this because, you know, everybody's like, who wants to use that? Well, I knew people still like this kind of stuff. So, yeah, and like I said, the wheel's just so vibrant, brand new. And I listed it as used because I can't, I couldn't guarantee this was brand, brand new. It's not like it was in, you know, wrapped in, in the plastic or anything like that, but it looked like it had never been used so I so I got like I said I got that for a dollar and it sold for twenty five dollars plus ten dollars and fifteen cents shipping all in of thirty five dollars and fifteen cents so really good sale on something that a lot of people just wouldn't even mess with next we have an Orvis corduroy sports coat remember my last sold video I had that Orvis camel hair well this is an Orvis corduroy sports coat this was really neat. Uh, like I said, corduroy has the leather buttons. What's really cool about this is it has these leather or suede elbow patches. They're really neat. And I got this for two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, sports jackets at that charity thrift where I got this for five dollars, and I got this on a half off day. It does have the uh, fly rod and fishing basket combo, so higher end item. And this sold for $25 plus $11.15 shipping. So, yeah, pretty good sale. I have this Hamilton Beach breakfast sandwich maker. This is a very specific little machine. It, it seriously is for like cooking your eggs and like frozen biscuits into a sandwich. It's, it was kind of odd, but I didn't get very much for it. And it was brand new. I took it out of the box just to show people it was brand new never been used and it sold fairly quickly for twenty dollars plus fourteen dollars and thirty cents shipping it was quite heavy so uh, 34 30 all in next we have another skin suticals item I still have a few things left matter of fact I just sold one another little thing the other day but this is a pigment regulator brand new no box and uh, like I said, I came, I don't know what per item these were, but these came out to a, a less than a dollar per item. And I sold this for $49.99 plus $5.15 shipping. So yeah, it's a dollar to 50 bucks. Really good sale. And like I said, it's one of the better deals I've had in a while. Next we have this North Face, this little puffy puffer down vest. This is a women's. 
really good condition kind of a vintagey look uh, women's medium north face in my area i don't know about your area but in my area north face is pretty hard to come by because people just buy it up and it's pretty high priced in the thrift stores i usually pass on it because when i do find it because the prices are just so high but I happened to get this one for a, a good price i got this for five dollars because it was ten dollars and it was half off that so and it sold pretty quickly um, for $45 plus 10 15 shipping and this is another item that went overseas with the global shipping program so somebody paid the 55 15 plus whatever fees the global shipping program charges them so it has a really good sale next we have this uh, how do you say this Bobax a pocket water bottle it's just a little plastic foldable water bottle I got three of these in one of those little bags I show in my haul videos for a dollar a dollar twenty-five and I've sold two of them and I got one left so it sold that for twelve dollars and seventy six cents plus 375 shipping for something I have about what 50 50 cents in so yeah 50 cents to 12.76 it's pretty good all right next we have this this really cool stamped steel Allegheny the Pennsylvania ashtray and this is in really good condition I mean I couldn't say it was new because you know no way to prove that there was no stickers or anything but just really good shape something you don't find very often in this old it, it took a little while to sell this but I only gave a dollar for this and it sold for fifteen dollars plus five fifteen shipping so yeah pretty neat all right the last thing we have an L.L. Bean blue plaid wrinkle resistant shirt this is a large tall it's kind of similar to the one I had in my haul video except for the one I have in my haul video is a double extra large and uh, yeah really good shape and I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this and it sold for ten dollars plus five fifteen shipping that's why I'm pretty much passing on a lot of these dress shirts now because they're just not bringing the money anymore um, I will buy them if I get them cheap enough I buy anything if I get it cheap enough or if I can get multiples or if it's for me you know but uh, yeah I mean still made a profit but the profit after fees and everything you're only looking at seven dollars profit so it's getting to where it's not worth the effort especially with shirts you gotta I steam them make sure they're not too wrinkled this one has a little bit of a wrinkle right here but uh, I have a steamer you know sometimes you even have to iron some of these wrinkles out sometimes you have to launder them you know so it's just if for a seven dollar profit it's really not worth the effort but I'm glad I sold and I still have a lot more shirts like this that I would still uh, take the sale on so yeah that's my uh, 21 things that sold on eBay if you guys have any questions comments just let me know uh, like, subscribe, all, you know, the drill, and uh, have a good week.